All right, so part four of this video is kind of an extra credit sort of thing. Um, if you notice on our coffee mug, you will see that this top rim is flat and therefore wouldn't be very comfortable to drink from. So we are going to create a uh, kind of a lip around it using our, our arc tool and follow me tool and make it a little more uh, of a rounded edge. So we're going to start off with our two point arc. I'm going to zoom in here. So we go from one point, the outer edge to the inner edge. And as we do this, we want to make sure that our um, the arc is going up on the blue uh, axis. Okay. One way you can possibly do this is if you press the up arrow on your keyboard. And we're just going to get a little rounded edge there. Okay. Once we've got that, I'm going to do a straight line because you can't do follow me unless you have a closed shape. So we're going to make this into kind of a semicircle. So once you have that, now we can select our object. Okay. So I'm going to use the um, select tool. Okay. And I'm actually going to select all the way around the object. Now we can do multiple selections by holding down the shift button. And we want to make sure that of that. We want to make sure that everything is blue. So all these lines around here, and I guess they're segmented because it's not a perfect circle as we get into it. But we want to make sure that we select all of this. And this will hopefully make our follow me tool work a little better. I'm going to just select these all the way around. Then I'm going to come to our toolbar, select the follow me tool. And this is the face that I want to follow. And if you click on that, it should uh, automatically go all the way around like magic. So uh, that is, you know, now we have a nice rounded edge uh, comfort for our lips while we drink from this wonderful coffee mug. So the final part that we're going to be doing is adding a handle for our coffee mug. So uh, come back and check out the next video and I'll see you then.